Uh, hey guys, it's Megan with Cartropolis TCG, and today we have our Bofuri set to open for you guys. So we'll just be quickly going through like the trial deck and opening a few boxes and just uh, seeing what we're getting. Uh, we watched the show uh, a little while back, and it was like very, very cute. It reminds me of like reincarnated as as a slime, except like VR, like Sal video game version, and like very like low stakes with a cuter protagonist. Get fresh out of the box. Let's see. This card cannot be chosen by your opponent's effects. When this card is placed on the stage from hand, look it up to X cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to one card, put it into your hand, and put the rest in your waiting room. And X is equal to the number of game characters you have. Uh, every character in here is a game character. That's kind of interesting. Wait, they don't have multiple traits? I oh, know they do. But it's game is something. It's like yeah, it's like the primary one. So here's like your standard little how to play packet. Don't need that. <laughs> we'll go ahead and try to get this yes, out. Something. Oh my gosh, why is it so... Okay, thank you. <laughs> Technical dope. Man, you did that so easily. Oh my gosh, I'm just weak. How embarrassing. Alright, so yeah, we have the, the maple, whose skill I just read. Uh, we have this level zero uh, for Kasumi. She is a universe, like she's a global plus five. I need to pay a stock. Choose one character in your opponent's center stage and that character gets minus 1,000. So I think I do like this uh, set because a lot of the cards are kind of like defensive and they like minus, you know, your opponent's board and it's going to feel really bad because Dakota does like his like 500, you know, power back rows. Is there anything? No, but there's a card in here that's like universal minus five. Oh my god it's lit all right and then we have this face of the game maple let's see digital climax place in my game choose one of your game characters in your waiting room and turn it to hand oh okay so it's a digital climax salvage. digital climax to salvage oh. and you can pay two and when this card is put into your waiting room from the stage you may pay the cost if you do choose oh. one game character in your waiting room and return it to that's hand. the maple oh that's it okay a... we need to pull that as Oh, it's very good? Uh, it's, you play one of it in the deck. Oh, or you should. It's a, you ditch a climax to salvage, so I don't know. Oh. I like those effects. Oh, okay. And then we have like this super cute, Whoa. like, Yui. Oh my gosh. When this card is placed on the stage, choose one of your game characters and it gets plus one five. Or plus fifteen, I guess people say. So you get four of her. That's neat. Uh, and then Conqueror May, her like sister counterpart. And just so you know, their arts do connect. connect. That's oh, that's sweet. so cute. Oh no, they kind of, it's like a pseudo connect. Yes, if you overlap it slightly, it'll connect. Let's, that's not important. Let's move on. <laughs> uh, all of your opponent's characters get Encore uh, for two stock. Hmm. So three. Interesting. Uh, and then we have this Superb Memory Kanade. Is that how you say her name? Oh, I don't know. Oh, this is going to be opponent. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. That's why it's a 4K. I was like, why is it a 4K? Yeah. That's okay. interesting. I don't know if you'd run that in your deck. Uh, when this card attacks, you can choose one of your characters and give it plus 25. That's neat. You get two of her. And then brotherly figure, uh, Kurumo. Kuromo. I only remember like a handful of these names because unless you're Maple or Sally, you're not getting a lot of screen time. <laughs> and then he gets plus five for each of your other game characters. Is that the other shield guy? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's a 1-1, one, one, so hmm. maybe some sort of like standby target thing. I don't know how you're laying these out. Uh, we got Assertive Yui. Uh, this card gets plus 25 for each uh, other game character in your backstage. So that's kind of neat. Uh, and then here's like the 3-2 Maple. Uh, non SR version, there's one of her. And then your triggers, you have like this double soul. Oh, no, not two soul. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's cute though. There's like, so you get one with this art, or two with this art, and two with this art. They're different climaxes. Yeah, but. Oh, okay. It's the same effect, same no, color. No, it's not. That's a stock soul. Are you sure? And that's a two soul. Oh, that's embarrassing. Not I was only looking at this part. I'm like, oh, it's the same. Oh, yeah. Don't judge me. I've had a really long day. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, let's see. And then there's this consistently flawless uh, Risa Shiromi. Sh Sh Shiromi. Oh, whatever. 
Uh, let's see. She she bonds with I don't want to get hurt. Uh, Kaede Hanjo. Interesting. And during your turn, I'll be rather I don't want to get hurt. Kaede Hanjo's get plus two. Yep. And then cool and collected Kazumi. Uh, yeah, the global five. And then, oh, you already. Okay, good. Good. Mm -hmm. And then focus, Sally, is your brainstorm. At the beginning of your main phase, look at the top part of your deck and put it on the top deck or in your waiting room. And then you can brainstorm uh, one stock, flip over, and then yeah, just drop to one. And there's four of her. Yeah, standard childhood plus stuff. Uh, and then there's this Kazumi, Kasumi. When this card attacks, if your hand has four more cards, she gets plus 3k. And you get four of her. That's neat. Uh, let's see. Oh, and then here's like the Hanjo. Um, so yeah. Again, oh, they're real life names. Yeah. Okay. Confusing. Like, oh, Maple, basically. Uh, yeah, she's a vanilla, which makes sense because vanilla is bond and childhood focus. Oh, sure. <laughs> um, and then you have is, eyes. Mm. Anyway, she's your backup. And you get two of her. And then supportive role eyes. Um, she's an assist. And then you can pay two and rest her and choose a game character in the waiting room and return it to hand. And you get two of that. Oh my gosh. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> your 3 2 Sally, like finisher. Um, when she's placed on the stage, you can flip the top card of your clock in your waiting room. So that's good. There's some healing in this. And when she attacks, if you have another game character, she uh, gets plus one five until the end of the turn. In her climax combo, you can pay two stock, put two cards from your hand into your waiting room. Um, activates once, one time per turn. At the end of this card's attack, uh, you can stand this card. You get one of her. I don't know how you put it. Oh them. gosh, that's the climax combo I'm playing. That's your climax combo? Yeah, it's the, it's the crappy stand. It's the only thing that I could in this deck. What? Yeah, I need two trial decks. <laughs> the maple's good. The maple? Is this worth running? That's what I'm playing. Why? It's on a book. It. That's it. I don't believe you. Okay, well we'll find out when you open. Well, I run the. You play the, the cancel burn. Good. The maple. The cancel burn. The maple it would be better if it was e easier to play at level two. No, I'm talking about the level three climax combo maple. Yeah, the early play. The oh, okay, minus sure. Soul. Yeah, yeah. If it was a different early play condition and you could get it out oh, consistently. Well, whatever. I've been planning this deck forever, so I'm not changing it. The cancel burn's pretty good, though. Uh, and then we have an event for quest activated. All of your game characters get the following ability. You can pay a stock, and when the this card's battle come, becomes reversed, you can uh, put a character in waiting room and return it to your hand. Two of those. And then, yeah, after your climaxes, you have three books, or four books. No, it is three books. That's weird. What? Okay. Uh, and then, oh, for your potential foils, you can get the Assertive Yui, um, the Worried May, uh, this Climax, no. Maple, yeah, I'm gonna get it. No. and then the Sally. No. Okay, do you know the Silica in my Sal deck, the level zero back row? This gives that effect to all your characters. Oh. Holy. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure I'm playing that finisher in my deck list. I don't think that's your best possible option. I, I don't think there's that many other ones. Also, first of all, you don't need SPs of anything. So you saying you need two trial deck SPs? I guess technically eight. No, you don't. No, no you don't think four of that. Okay. Well, you play one. Well, play still. One. All right, so cool. Side. All right, hopefully that didn't take too long. But man, I just get really caught up on just reading the skills. All right, moving on to boxes. The three five backup. <laughs> it's huge. All righty. Oh, and for anyone wondering, here's kind of like what the box looks like. Very cute, kind of just the standard like I don't know visual art. Right, this, good. this is cool. So I know it's always on draw brainstorms, but this is essentially a five card brainstorm every turn. <laughs> the beginning of your main phase, you top check. And you yeah, well, you said the same thing about the Gilgamesh. Yeah, right? I know. It, it feels bad. Uh, but and then too good. giving thanks, Kazumi. Promo. Kazumi. He has our promo. She's a 1 1. Pay a stock at the beginning of your opponent's attack phase. You can uh, choose a card, choose one card, choose this card and one of your game characters and exchange them as stand.
Your scissors are dull. Not important. Moving on. Do I grab a different pair? Do I want to grab them? No, do I want you want oh. me to grab it? Yeah, if you want them. Okay. Alright, so we have relaxation maple. Uh she like combos with relaxation Sally. Oh, she, Oh, we got this super cute chibi maple. Oh, that's cute. I don't want this to be like a three hour video, but I don't know what any of these cards do. I would do. just like explain the first box and then just open, or maybe like you can go through the characters and I'll explain some of the effects. Or okay, we better hurry up then. Oh, yeah. All right, we have maxing out maple. That's this two one. Uh, we have the stout guardian maple. Um, yes, if you can learn. And she's hand on core, so that's pretty good. Uh, let's see. One of the twins, Yui. What an original name. It looks like her art will connect with May as well. Uh, the Guildmaster Pain. Uh, armor of the Black Rose Maple. Fancy. Uh, stock card, so that feels bad. Uh, we have the event bonus, Kasumi. I believe that's a pretty good card. Uh, and then we have like the standby climax for the level three. That's not the pretty thing. Isn't there like that level three, like the flame emperor one? Oh, we have the Sally that bombs with the maple. Standby. Why not? I have uh, we have this really cute like maple card where she's like covered in poison and busy. Uh, this is what I was talking about. Um, when this card is placed on the stage from hand, all of your opponent's characters get minus 1,000 power until the end of the turn. Oh my God. So even better than what I thought it was, it just kills things. I'm definitely going to run this because I don't like Dakota having good days. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, let's see. I mean, you're paying a stock. For There's a, a backup that, that can no deal a damage if you pay two. What are you going to do um, with this crash? <laughs> yeah. I guess you're just paying a stock to kill hopefully two of my back yeah, row. Yeah, to just annihilate your back row. That'd be some good disruption. You can't change my mind. And it's a universal minus. If she's like going up against something that's like 1-5, at least we'll tie. You're gonna go against something that's 1-5 at level two. I'm just... I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You're playing that because you're salty about my 500 back row. Yeah, I'm gonna play it because <laughs> it's gonna make you salty. Oh my God. Uh, let's see. Here's this like maple that does memory things. Oh look, there's Wooly. How cute! <laughs> this is so cute. How could you be so rude to it? The rare stick like crazy though. Uh, and then here is like the level one maple uh, combo. She combos with the standby, so it's pretty cool. Oh look, this looks cool. I don't know. There has to be other things to use. Trial deck, level three. The double. That is. Alrighty, so then we have this 2-1 for the win, Kanade. Uh, yeah, those things, I don't know. Uh, let's see. We have this newbie adventure, Maple, and she's like eating the bug. That's cute. Oh, yeah. That's, that's so no, cute. No, no, no. Yeah, it's spooky. Uh, mature response, when this card is placed on stage, choose one of your character's opponents in center stage, and it gets minus 3,000. See, I do like just the field disruption. Does. Oh, and all the chibis are cute. And then Yui, the combos with May. That happens a lot in this set. Very flavorful. Uh, and then here is your Climax Swapper that cannot sight attack. That's pretty good. Uh, no damage Maple. She put two cards from your hand in your waiting room. Which card backup? She's one of your opponent's characters with a higher level. Oh, okay, so yeah, it's the early play killer backup. And then, uh, let's see here. Okay, so like it, this one gives power and soul. And then here's like the other standby target. Or standby climax. Oops. I do think it's funny how there's like a million different SPs in this set. Like this there's is a good episode. Legitimately 12. Where it was like the three on three fight. Oh yeah, yeah, that was up. Uh, Hibernate and Awaken Sally. So we can do that. Uh, we have like Super Speed Dread. 
markers. Uh, the relaxation maple. Uh, let's see, the hand on core maple. Uh, the pain. Oh, this would be easy to stand by for this. Yeah. Yeah, the pain, like early play, like reverse filler. Uh, let's see. It's like assist maple. Awaken syrup in your. Oh, hey, this uh, combos with the syrup, the turtle card. Oh. Dakota really wants to play. This looks really good. Then, this kills early plays and it's a bottom deck but because it's level one uh you can use this on your front standby target so if they put it out at level two at level one you just bottom deck and they can't handle on chorus oh so, so that's really good yeah if you're playing blue you probably play that i'm not playing blue but that yeah. feels bad uh little chibi maple <laughs> uh two one kasumi most cards placed on the stage you four more you're here and put in your stock oh that's pretty good that works Oh, my bad. Uh, salvage Brainstorm. It gives level zero's power to the middle. Which I don't know what the heck. I can't just give any character power mm -hmm. to the middle. Uh, and then here's the shield guy. That's not maple. Uh, pretty cute looking maple. Sweet. Uh, and then, yep, Wild Adventure, Maple and Sally. So it's backup. X cards from the bottom of your opponent's deck in their waiting room. X equal the number of game characters you have. Uh, and then it's a 3,000 backup. So you mill like the bottom five of your front deck. Oh, then the switch is maple tree. That's cute. Maple tree. I guess that's free. So it's just a 3k backup that can decompress your opponent, kind of. It's annoying. Mm -hmm. Hex maple. Oh, is this maple tree the one that combos with that minus soul? The angel card? I don't believe Because I thought so. that was on a choice. It is on a choice, but I don't think yeah. it's that one. But I don't remember. Let me pull it. All right. Um, collecting, collecting Metals Maple. Uh, unique series. Uh, two to one. Put this card into your memory. You can put a game character from your hand into a waiting room. It's waiting room. Okay, it's going to be a cost. Return this card to your hand. Oh, okay. So it's like a recycling backup. That's interesting. Bloodstained Plate Coromo. Uh, unexpected bonus. Uh, so this is an event. It's 3-3, three, three, and all of your characters get the following ability until the end of the turn. This ability activates up to one time per turn. When damage dealt by this card is cancelled, you may deal one damage to your opponent. So it's kind of neat. Oh, this is cool, because you can always you can also use this on your turn as an event. Mm -hmm. mm. So more events on you. Cancel burn. Yes. Cancel burn. Yes. What if there's a deck where you play the the two girls, the cancel burn girls, and you play this? So when you when they cancel, you burn twice. Oh, and then boss monsters. Is there, you could play gate or something. I don't know. So many you options. can't just play triggers because they're triggers. Oh, they I'm just to trying to. Something. I don't know what they combo with because I kind of figured out what I wanted to do right away. You're doing eight choice, right? Uh, I'm doing four choice, four standby because I'm using this. Oh, that level one? Yeah. Okay. So you're going like pure maple? Uh, it's mostly like maple and like the, the twins. Okay. So it's like red, yellow? Yeah. A little bit of blue because there's like. Well, you level have level two. zeros. And, oh, and oh zeros. three guns. Nice. Oh. No, just for the zeros. Oh, this set's so sticky. Why are you doing this to me? Um, let's see. Uh, brainstorm for six, but it's only for books. Something to keep in mind. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's an eight book deck. So there's an eight book deck that uses this girl level level one combo. Um, and then the restanding. Oh, pretty good flavor to have, like, the smart girl who's, like, in the library the this, whole time. I don't know if you remember, but this level one combo, if we ever get it at some point, um, it's, mm -hmm. like, the same as the Goblin Slayer's level one combo. Like, you search... For that the event that looks at top four as yeah, a character, oh. so it's a way to like, it's a guaranteed plus, and you can like mill through your deck and stuff. Oh my gosh! Uh, so this maple's pretty good if I remember. A double rare? Uh, an elf single. An elf single rare. All right, let's see. All right, uh, put one loving sacrifice maple from your hand to your winning room, which is that level three early mm -hmm. place probably. Um, on play from hand, you may pay the cost and do... Oh, free fresh! Oh, this is uh, uh, the union uh, that you hate so much from Kung Tzu where you ditch 
Uh, you ditch the Megumin and Refresh. Do I hate the union because of the effect you or because the of art. gross art? You hate the art. All right, uh, so pay one stock, put this in a waiting room. If you're level three or higher, choose up the one maple in your hand. Put it... Oh, this is oh, good. Oh, this is cute. This is good. Look at this. Oh, that's cute. It's like, she looks like she's like about to cry. Yeah, I think this maple's good. I'll make this for her. Uh, so yeah, here's like Misery, and she is, oh, she's cost. So this is interesting. I saw this on the side of the box. She's a 1-1. One, one. When your other character becomes reversed in battle, choose one of your game characters and it gets plus 2,000, so that's interesting. And then she has a brainstorm effect on level 1, where you pay 2 stock and rest, flip over 4 cards from the top of your deck, put them in your waiting room for each climax, choose up to 1 climax in your waiting room and return it to your hand. So it's a brainstorm that gets climax It's a deck? climax. It's a level 1 climax brainstorm. Huh. Interesting. Well, that's all on the cost of stock. That's what it said. Uh, so I think in your deck, you can play a lot of this because standby decks usually have a problem like having good decks. So having multiples with this, you just Good did, decks? Like, usually standby decks are bad at compressing. Oh, for whatever reason. Interesting. Uh, I'm not good enough to tell you why they're bad at comparison. Other than it just turns out that way. <laughs> oh, here's that recycling back up again. Uh, here's the like, not, oh my gosh, look at three, three cards in a row, just. Not cute girls. I thought they were all the same character. <laughs> Sorry, Berserk Drag, but I don't remember you very much at all, and we just watched the show. Uh, so here is, like, the giant killer. Like, oh, yeah, I'm definitely running this. Turns out double rare. Yeah, cancel burn. Uh, so on play from hand, if you have four or more other uh, game characters, you can choose a game character in your waiting room and put it in your stock. So it only costs, like, one. Mm -hmm. um, you'd have a full field when you do that, but it might be able to allow you to play more. And then uh, during the turn that's played from hand, uh, when it's canceled, you mill the top card. When its attack is canceled, you mill the top card of your deck and burn your opponent for one plus the milled card level. Oh. <clears throat> oh, and here's a very cute looking maple. They're all cute. Begin of your opponent's attack phase. You can pay one stock. Move this card to an open position in, of your backstage. Oh, okay, interesting. Clean, clean cut. Uh, it's like a one stock clean cut. Well, oh. it's like a pseudo. It's not. A, Put this card in your waiting room. When your other character is put in your waiting room from the stage, if it's in your backstage, uh, you can return it. that character to its previous. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, exactly. You're so smart. You just know so many things. Oh, it's a crappy runner. <laughs> the pay one stock to run. But it does things when it runs. I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. So you can attack with this. Pay the stock to plus, and then when your other character dies later in the game, you can save it. I, it's fine. I don't. I, I don't hate it, but I, you probably wouldn't use the run effect that often. And then yeah, I'm trying not to like. Oh, sport. shiny! So shiny! Oh wow, this swimsuit shiny. Um, don't see it like that. God, you're so two, creepy. I'm not gonna stop. Ah, it's, it's uh, it costs two stock though, is it? It's so silly. Um, this card gets plus fifteen for each character in your opponent's backstage. Opponents backstage. That's interesting. You can pay a stock and put a game character from your hand into the waiting room. Uh, when this card's front attacked, uh, this card cannot be reversed. The foiling looks nice too. If you want to hold that up with the camera. This is, mm, it's kind of like hand on core. It's kind of something. The foiling's really pretty though. You gotta stop. <laughs> you stop. Oh, well, is that it? I remember eyes. Okay. I'm pretty sure it is. Like Liz just is. I thought it was eyes. Is it? I, I, I don't remember. Oh, uh, we have event bonus Sally. Our little like sheep outfits are really cute. Pretty strong level zero. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think all the event bonus cards weren't like terrible. Mm. Sally, uh, the stag, ooh, Chibi Yui, uh, Hand on Core Maple. That's level one combo that a lot of people are playing. Oh, okay. You can play it. Right? It's, it's, oh, it's, it's uncommon. It's gross. Oh my god, I'm doing that. You have super speed Sally using your clock. This character, like, it's an early play. 
All of your game characters get plus 1,000. Bonus cards based on soon. Interesting. It's like a budget early play. Huh. Uh, and then 3 2. Um, yeah, just the Flame Emperor and me. My. Oh, so like a double, right? Uh, yes. No, it's just rare. Oh, whoops. Okay, so this is the level 1 combo a lot of people are playing. So there's this event that uh, costs zero, so it's free. Look at the, uh, up to the top four cards of your deck, choose up to one uh, game character from among them, reveal it to your opponent and put it into your hand and then the rest in the waiting room. So uh, this is pretty good because it can like mill through your deck and stuff and it kind of just grabs any character. I mean, you only get to look at four, but um, it's like a pretty good event that a lot of decks do play. Um, and then this combos with a book. Uh, on attack, choose one of your characters, it gets 1500 power. So if you have multiples of these, you can give like both the power to like all the power to one column or one lane and just like run over standby targets. Um, but on attack, I think it's on attack. Uh, so on place of your climax, if this is in your center stage and you have another game character, choose one of the following effects and perform it. You can choose this in your waiting room, return it to your hand, or search your deck for this card and put it in your hand. So either way, you will always plus. And it's just on place. So like, that's pretty cool. Hmm. Uh, I guess I like the Goblin Slayer one better because it's on attack, so you can like thin your deck better. Whereas like this, if you search your deck for three of these, then you're kind of more likely to trigger a trigger on attack. I don't know. I guess I'm like the only one who doesn't like triggering climaxes. So it just feels bad. What? Like triggering climaxes. I know like they give you pluses usually, so it kind of offsets yeah. the Yeah. Oh, you just don't like it in the stock? I don't like it mm -hmm. not in my deck. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Not touching it. Uh, so we have this me. Uh, we have the eyes is, however you want to say it. Mm -hmm. uh, Oceanic Coat Sally. It's new. Uh, early play killer backup Maple. Uh, and then we have uh, newbie players May and Yui. Like in there, like swim art. Uh, when your character's <laughs> trick. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, when your character's trigger check reveals a climax, choose uh, another one of your characters, or one of your characters, and it's plus 1,000. And then it's a... And then it's a brainstorm where you can look at the top three cards in the deck, choose a card, put it into your hand, and put the rest in your waiting room. Oh, so never whiffs. Well, you need to like, find a climax. Maybe you don't. You don't? I just kind of skipped oh. it. Oh, no, it is. Oh, I thought there are cards that are like this that just, it's a brainstorm, but it's not. Yeah, the art's cute. I don't think the effects are okay. good. Okay, this, this card's gross. So the beginning of your opponent's attack phase, if this is in your, like, center stage, mm -hmm. choose one of your opponent's characters and get plus four soul till it's turn. You're like, I'm going to cancel that attack. That's funny. And then you eat it. That's obnoxious. You, I'm surprised you're not. Play that. That's not a finisher. I'm sure there's some blue thing in here that you could run out We'll of. find out when we get more double rares. That's fair. Oh, this art's cute, too. I guess I should stop saying that all the art's pretty cute for the most part. Uh, oh. That's my combo. Oh, it's your combo. That's and that's a and, combo oh, that. That's so cute. Yeah. Okay. So I'm excited for this combo. I think this card's really good. Oh, no. Okay. So uh, when you play your climax, it gets 3k, so it's... And it's on a 1k one, so it's an 8k on your turn, which is, like, huge. Um, on attack, if this is in your climax area and you have another game character, mill the top two cards of your deck and choose up to one level X or lower character uh, and return to your hand. X is the level of cards milled. So, like, uh, in first deck, it can, like, you know, get through your deck and it, like, salvages. So it's And it's on attack, so it doesn't even require a reverse. So I think this card's really good. And it's double rare. We haven't pulled a single syrup yet. I'm about to be pretty sad. Oh yeah, the turtle. The turtle. Isn't it like an uncommon? That's something. I feel like we would have commented on it if we pulled it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, here. We got this Huey. We got this Huey. Three more packs of the first box. Three more packs. No syrup, no SP, and like of course, like the secret rare would be really good. We'll see how lucky we get today. We got this Sally, and we got me. We got this A, and we got this A. Ta da! Shiny, shiny. Uh, SR Battle Ready Force May. 
Is this the triple rare? No. Okay, so two SRs in a box. Two S oh that's weird. Alright. And then oh really quick, just appreciate this art. It's cute. <laughs> oh it combos with that too. Oh cute. I like packs that are like that. <sighs> Alright, so level one zero cost, forty five hundred. During your turn it gets five hundred power for each other game character, so it's six five on turn. Um so if you have the climax, what is it, a uh, two soul? Uh, it activates up to one time per turn. When damage dealt by this card is cancelled, if you have the climax, choose from one game character in your waiting room, put it in your sock, reveal top card of your deck, and if it's a game character, put it in your hand. So basically you're swinging for three, and if they eat it, that's good. And if they don't, then you sa salvage and or you, No, you you stock charge. Well, I don't know if it's stock charge. You just like stock from waiting room and then reveal top and get pluses so it's like a plus two hmm. potentially interesting i don't know if it's that great but... uh, and we have our like ricky eyes oh ricky ricky nice so our five double rares so we got two level one combos a brainstorm a ricky and a cancel burn pretty well rounded like oh, let me get, let me get it for sure. cute little poison maple i don't know what huh. this card does but it looks really good <laughs> the poison maple yeah i think she's cute on play from hand. Oh, we got a turtle! Turtle! Zero! <laughs> oh, it's back! <laughs> uh, on play from hand. Choose one of your opponent's oh. characters. That character gets the following ability to the end of your opponent's next turn. Cannot move to another position. Okay, so anti runner. And then when it dies, put it on the bottom of your deck. Okay, so this is like an anti runner kind of thing. Mm. Um, I just like that it's zero. I feel like it could be a vanilla and I'd consider... Oh, oh we're talking about zero. Sorry. Oh. oh, that's embarrassing. If you have two or more game characters, it gets plus one level. It can be chosen by your opponent's effects. And then when it attacks, it gets 1,000 power for each other game character. So 12k on attack. Oh, we got another Kasumi for our promo. Nice. And we got a Chitty Sally. I thought she looked cute. She's the only Chitty that's foil. Oh, this is good if you're playing 8-8. Uh, Oh, okay. All right, I'm trying to move through this a little quicker because I don't want this to be a an hour long video. If you see anything that strikes your fancy, just uh, stop. Meow. You know, pick it up or yeah, meow. I like that meat thing. Yes, yeah. Refresh me. Yeah, for a rare, it's not too bad. Another relaxation, Sally. Poison maple. Do you want me to start cutting packs and between them? Oh yeah, it's normal. Scissors. 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 Be careful. I have never cut a card before. I know. As I just cut one. What? No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these scissors suck. It's, they're better than the other ones. I don't want to hear it. Oh, back to back chitties. That's cute. Probably at least go in the binder. Mm. I guess I am seeing like a lot of like double soul. <laughs> Wait, that's kind of what feels bad. Yeah, leave a comment if you want to see any like deck profiles out of the set. I know um, we keep saying that though. There's so many decks that we have to do profiles. I know. Of. I promise they're coming. We're just busy. I coach um, tennis, so I'm busy all the time. Yeah, and I have another job. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, definitely, it is on our to-do list. I promise we're not just, like, smoke and mirrors. It is something that we're trying to do. So stay tuned, and thank you for your patience. Yeah, I know there's not, like, a ton of wise content and stuff out there, yeah. so. Oh, look, the... More. Yeah, the for the double rare one, is there only one type? Because I know the SPs are two different colors. Uh, I'm sorry, what? You know the SP of that? There's two different colors. Yeah, there's two different like versions of yeah. it. Yeah. Do the Delaware only have one? Yes. Okay. Even more fun with the SPs. Let's alternate based off of which twin it is. Pretty cute. That's ridiculous. But yeah, so the deck I want to play is uh, four gate, four book. And then you're playing four standby for choice. Mm -hmm. And then I guess we could do a deck profile for eight standby. Um, 
online. So it's already deck profiles online for like eight book. Yeah. I guess that's good that like people don't just default to eight standby. I'm gonna like just so I'm not reaching. I'm just gonna... Oh yeah. yeah. Assist maple. Oh, like nice. Uh, here's the uh, like oh, the level three combo that I'll be playing. Oh, okay, so if your waiting room has two or less climax, gets minus one level from your hand. It's a level three two stock, nine uh, k. Uh, on play, you may heal, and then on attack, if you have the combo, which is a choice, um, and you have four more characters, uh, it gets twenty five hundred power and the following ability until your opponent's next turn. Uh, character facing this card gets minus two souls, so it's a uh, eleven five, so it's pretty big. Um, and then they can't really deal you damage. Like effects like this are okay. Like they're good if you can't, if your deck can't, if your opponent can't answer them. If uh, they blink this, like send it to memory and it comes back, then they you lose the effect. Mm. Um, this card's very good. Oh, nice! Is this a board? But yeah, I don't know. It's like a fun card, and it probably feels bad to play against if you can't do anything about it. Oh, it's uh, one of these effects. Okay. Uh, when it becomes reverse in battle, look at the top three cards of your deck, choose up to one climax from one of them, reveal it to your opponent, put your hand, put the rest in your waiting room. If you put a card in your hand, put a, uh, choose a card in your hand and discard it. Ta-da! This looks very nice. Oh, wow. Oh, that combos with the... That was the other combo I was debating on using, but it's a little bit reliant on the opponent. And typically, effects like that aren't as great. Dakota has mad control issues, so he'll never. What? He'll never be reliant on the opponents. Well, hey. <laughs> hey. But yeah, I do like bars on level one combos because, like, you're more likely to get it to your hand by the time you need it, kind of thing. This whole set is just so sticky, or maybe I just so. Um, this we can't use backups, um, but then it gets like plus X if you mill top two based off of levels. Yeah, early game mill is nice. The backup effect usually doesn't come up. Because it's past level zero, or you're not really using it. Sally. I haven't seen any like Hydra cards. Well, oh, yeah, the Poison bad. Hydra. Or like that like, crazy, like Predator Kaiju monster. Oh, yeah, that was sweet. It's funny. Just like eating everybody and stomping out. The show's so funny. <laughs> Ooh, another serum up. I wish this came like SR. I don't even care about its skill. At the beginning of. Oh yeah, this is that like stock runner. Stock runner to oh, the yeah. back. I think the best part about that card is that it saves things. Mm. Basically gives your card on core essentially. Here's that maple Sally backup. Oh no! Dropping cards. Watch the SPV in there. Stop it. Oh, I feel terrible. <laughs> Hopefully the SP wasn't in there. So we did get some form of foil. Uh, yeah. The, uh, the brainstorm, that's not very good. It came in an SR, apparently. <laughs> Wait, which brainstorm is not very good? Uh, it's the one where for each climax you can, like, look at top three and, like, add. Oh, okay. Uh, it is like add a card though, so you could get like a climax. Yeah. So at least it has that going for it. Also it also like mills through your deck a lot. If, like if you hit at seven. Oh, uh, can you check the wording on that? Or I'll check the wording on it. Okay. I'm curious, like if you hit multiple climaxes, if you could do it multiple times. So. I think you for can. For each climax yeah. revealed. Yeah, okay. Well, um, he's so cute. What does this even do? Perform the following action two times. Choose one of your characters, and that character gets the following ability until end of soul. The character facing this unit gets minus one soul, and then this card goes into your memory. Huh. Interesting. So, like, the cool thing about this is if you hit a ton of climaxes off a of brainstorm, you can, like, just mill through the rest of your deck. Oh. And you did say standby was bad at milling, so maybe I'll 
Run like one or two of them. Is her eyes? I got this maple. I got this other maple, where she's like just generic, like standing pose. Oh look, we got the we got that brainstorm again. Neat. I think it's a single one there. Yeah, it's a single one. Need a water. So I got maple. Uh, I should be okay, but probably in a bit. Uh, hand oil for maple. Uh, May. Sally, um, we got the 3-2 Flame Emperor. Alright, so I'm Sally, and Dread, and Eyes, and Chibi Yui, and Unbalanced Maple, Oceanic Coat Sally, Endless Exploration is Eyes, and the Standby. Alrighty. Hibernate Sally, Super Speed, Mature Response, Maxing Out, Yui, Oceanic Coat. Uh, oh, neat. We got Atrocity Maple. Oh, that's when she turns into something? For SR. Uh, Atrocity, isn't that like that like tentacle monster thing that like comes out of the ground? It is, I'm pretty sure. Uh, when this card is placed on stage from hand, it gets plus 3,000 until the end of the turn. You can pay a stock, and when this card is placed, uh, you can choose a climax in your waiting room or return it to hand. Oh, interesting. Uh, the climax combo. You pay six stock huh? and put two cards from your hand into your waiting room and put one boss monster from your climax area into your waiting room. When this card's battle opponent becomes reversed, you can pay the cost. If you do, deal one damage to your opponent, deal two damage to your opponent, and deal three damage to your opponent. <laughs> Pretty good way to end that box. It looks nice. And just a very like fun skill. What is that skill? That's funny. The cool thing is you can pay a stock to get your climax back. Is that level one right there? You would need so much stock to do this though, because it costs two stock plus the one to get the climax of three. So you need nine stock. Yeah, probably can't do that. Ten anymore. if you want to like do this too for more cancel turns or something. Yeah. What the heck? What the heck? It's pretty like on flavor though, where it's just like this giant all at a time. Yeah. Depletes all your resources. Take skill Sally, uh, Prison of Flame Me, Berserk Drag, Alchemist Long Coat Eyes. And then we have Event Bonus Sally, a lot of wool cloves, and maple green. And then we have Hex Maple, Collecting Metals Maple, Bloodstained Plate, uh, one of the twins, Solid Fighting Style, uh, Marcus the Trapper. I didn't know his name was Marcus. Who? Uh, the... Oh, the... Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, so we got Relaxation Maple, Maxing Out Maple, uh, Cloudless Azure Skies, Stout Guardian Maple, Guildmaster Pain, Armor of the Black Rose Maple. Ooh, we got our first SP! Ah, oh, it's a brainstorm! It's a brainstorm! It's a brainstorm! So cute. Yeah, this actually looks really nice. Can you show that up to the camera after you're done drooling? Oh, okay. I stop. Much shiny. I like how the signature has like two hearts on it. That's yeah, cute. I like how like thin. It, I don't know if you can see, but like the fire, it looks like fireworks, kind of, or like I the little see. circle like thing. Yeah, it's oh, pretty cool. Cute. I like how thin the pen mm. is. Mmm. So, your climax can be played from your hand without fulfilling color requirements. That'd be cool to like stand by at like level zero. Remember that one game where you, you like clocked a non red card and couldn't like stand by? Or like when you like it's happened to me when you don't have a red card to clock mm. and then like you just can't play your standby at level zero. 
getting your yeah, level one. That feels bad. Um, I'm sure that's happened to me before. Clock po management. Ugh. It's just hard at level zero because you don't have time to. Because oh, like, because oh, in yeah, your opening hand, happened. yeah, if you're if in your opening hand you ditch your one one target and you don't have a red to clock to like play your standby and you don't want to clock the standby. Yeah. Uh, put one card from your hand into your waiting room when your climax mm. is placed on your climax mm. area. You may pay the cost to draw a card. Yeah, no, I sh I showed it. I was reading it. Sure then it's a search brainstorm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sure Dakota's happy. This uh, gets you uh, can clear your hand actually a little bit. Um, oh, really? Well, because like when you sometimes you play climaxes just to like get them out of your hand, but that way like you can play a climax for your combo and get rid of another one and draw a card. Mm. It's just like a, ni a nice little effect. I wouldn't say it's like broken or anything, but it's just a nice little thing that's there. A nice little effect for a nice little oh, whoops. <laughs> a nice little show. Nice little. The first effect is weird. Isn't there also another card that like you can play? Oh no, that was the Madoka card. There was like a level three clock kick mm -hmm. that you could just play like without the, the color requirements. Yeah. It's like completely random. Yeah. All right. Poison Maple, Counter Maple, Blue Master Me, Swimsuit Yui, uh, Shin the Split Sword, uh, the Twins again. That's pretty good. I think I only wanted to run like two of those, so now we have three. Nice. Yeah, I think I was playing two too. Oh, I messed that up again. I keep messing that up. Okay. Oops. Oops. That minus 1k that's going to really ruin Dakota's life. Stop. It only hurts my sour deck, okay? Your favorite deck. Okay, well, it hurts my favorite deck. <laughs> it's going to feel really good. I just feel really competitive, so I just get extra determined to just knock you down, okay? That was a double rare. Oh, uh, we haven't pulled the, um... Oh, whoops. Another double rare. I'm sorry, they look I'm the not... same. Oh, I know. Like, see like, that's the like one... up in front of the camera. That's the one thing that I hate about this game. It's just the base already sucks. <laughs> we haven't pulled the, like, level two standby target yet. I think they made it a double rare, which feels bad. I don't know why. Well, it's, I don't know. Okay, two, wait. Okay, we have not... standby target would be pretty difficult. Okay, we've not gone over these last couple double rares. Okay, so um, Kasumi level one, 4,500. If you have two or more, continuous, if you have two or more game characters, it gets 1,000 power, so it's 5-5 five, five cross turn. Um, on attack, if you have the bar, the one that we got foil. Um, wait, oh my gosh, don't take that to me. It's so... uh, if you have the bar in your climax uh, area, and your hand has six or like, Six or less cards. Look at up to the top X cards from from the top of your deck. Choose up to one game character from among them and reveal it to your opponent with your hand. Put the rest in your waiting room. X is equal to the number of characters your opponent has. Mm. So, like initially, the power level of this card is like kind of insane. I think because it's up to X, so you get to choose how far you dig into your deck. Mm. And I feel it's very unless you're playing this with like a standby deck or something. Your opponent's always gonna have five characters, so this just digs first deck super deep. Oh. Um, that's why, like, I think this card's like good. Um, five five cross turn isn't terrible if you have like a two K backup plus some sort of assist. I don't know. It doesn't stop standby decks really, but um, I don't know. Your opponent can like play around this and just play less characters or crash, but then like you're still looking at like two or three cards, so it's like not nothing. Um, Yes, I think this is pretty good. I like the, the the cup. I don't know why I call it cup. There has to be a name for it that I just don't know what it's called. Because I don't think cup was the first one. Are you it? saying cup because of like the Gilgamesh skill? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, that's just what I call them. But I'm sure there's another name for it. Because the Kirito from Alicization 2 is the same. Oh. It's on attack. And the same as Shizu. Maybe, it, maybe Shizu was the first one? I don't know. It's on attack, mill 2. You have to mill 2. And then you salvage X or lower. Oh. Um. But I like how it's just on attack. I wonder if Steven would know. Mm, yeah, I could talk to him. Okay, and our other double rare, uh, Canade? 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 I think it's Canade. Oh, um, right. I remember her name. <laughs> uh, early play, four or more characters, minus one level, so good early play. Um, on play, heal, and on play, uh, 2k for the turn. So, I mean, it's easy. As an early play healer, it only gets 2k on your turn, though, so it's probably not living cross. 
But still heals, so can't that really be bad. Last pack of box three. So exciting. And then Maple. Sally, uh, here's this double rare who's like really good. When this card becomes reversed in battle, look at three cards from the top, up to three cards from the top of your deck. Choose one climax. Oh, you already read it? Oh, oh yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. I it thought was, it was pretty good. Yeah, no, I think it's good. Um, this is a really good level zero to play out early game because it, like, you can dig for your level one. Like, mm. I'm playing four of that, I think. Three uh -huh. or four. Okay. Um, just digs for your climax. Sneak peek there, but oh, it's cute. Is the 2 2 really a double rare? We got moment between the two maple. Well, it comes, I think so. All right, during your opponent's turn, this card gets plus 4,000. It's very on flavor. And you can pay the stock and put this card into your waiting room. Look at four cards on the top of your deck. Choose one game character. Reveal it to your opponent. Put it in your hand and put the rest into your waiting room. With like, oh, look at that foiling. It looks so nice. That's nice. Camera, YouTube, look at the blue. <laughs> it's very nice. <laughs> wow, it is really nice with the sky. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, it's this card. I'm ready. Oh, my oh. gosh. Okay, I really like this card too. It's four or five hundred bucks. <laughs> That's right. <gasps> it's so gross. <laughs> it, it does get outed by bombs, though. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Two sided bombs. So yeah. So that feels bad. Oh yeah, especially because that's a staple in every deck. So I mean a lot. I mean a lot of decks have every deck has access to bombs, but not every deck plays bombs. If you don't play a bomb, you're not getting over that. Yeah. Like that's way too big. Um, but if it lives, you can also just like kill it to like dig for something else. That's true. Uh, our first double rare of the set was the like early play twins. Hmm. I think we have a play set now, Wait, so we pulled yeah, one in an early play? big box. And then I believe no. we got the foil of no. this, so that's pretty neat. Oh yeah, that was the first foil. Mm -hmm. All right. Back at Maple. Uh, spell, spell stash. Uh, swimsuit Yui. Uh, and then we have like this one it? zero. Oh yeah, this is the one that pairs with Maple Tree. Oh, okay. Oh, it's just a rare. Okay, um, well, I guess we'll go over it. Cause it... Okay. Uh, combo, but it, that's a choice, right? Yep. Um, when your when Maple Tree is placed in your climax area, if this is in your center stage, you may choose one level X or lower game character in your waiting room, return to your hand. X is equal to the number of Maple Tree in your waiting room. Oh, interesting. So it's just on play your, of your climax salvage something. Oh, well, okay, if it's your first, then you only get a zero, but if you start canceling or something, or you can get through. And then resonate, reveal any number of loving sacrifice maple, which is the level three mm -hmm. uh, early play. Um, on attack, you may pay the cost if you do this card gets X power until the end of your opponent's next turn, and X is equal to the number of cards you revealed by 1500. Hmm. Oh, it's just reveal, you don't even ditch. Holy, this can get big. And then our SR, we got like the chibi sound. Just like everyone else. It's cute. Okay, so like on attack, you can reveal two of those early plays and you just get 3k until the end of your opponent's next turn. Hmm. Wall up. That'd be fun. Like an eight choice deck. Oh, yeah. It definitely seems like a viable option that they're kind of like pushing you towards. Oh my gosh, what's uh, tennis is over? Oh, yeah. and then yeah, here's our first one of this, like Sally. Combos with that like interesting like. Oh, uh, experience is a double soul. So the total level of cards in your level of six or higher gets fifteen hundred power. So it's eleven k. Does not heal. Um, discard a card when it attacks. If you have the climax, uh, deal X damage to your opponent and it gets two thousand power till end of turn. X is equal to the level of cards put into your waiting room by this ability's cost. Oh, so you can discard anything from your hand and burn for that much. Oh. So you can like. Uh, pinpoint damage people. Hmm. I don't hate this. I think it's like a... Ew. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. Um, then we got the level 3 maple again. Nice. 
The combos of the stock soul, like I hate triggering those. Just like I hate triggering everything, but like build stuff. It doesn't cost any stock though, that's nice. But it costs cards. Interesting. Uh, Atrocity Maple as a single R. Uh, when this card is placed on the stage from hand, this card gets plus 3,000 until the end of the turn. You can pay a stock, and when, when it's placed on the stage... Oh! Oh! Oh, how silly of me. This is the base rarity. Oh, the shiny one. The shiny one. So if you want, like, cute maple instead of... Kaiju. Kaiju, then you need to foil up. <laughs> That's interesting. Gosh, I hate how addicted I am becoming to pink. Like every time I open cases or boxes, I just want to build like every pink. I know, you have a silly lady problem. It wouldn't be so bad, but you don't want to build decks. You want to like build max rarity decks. Okay, well, I think every. I oh, nice. This is a pretty good Megan box because that's my mm. level one maple. Very nice. Okay. What did you say? I'm talking about, I'm trying to figure out which, so th this, uh, where'd it go? Oh no, did I take it? Probably. The Sally? Oh, it was the Foil Sally TV. Did you take it, you little Oh, raccoon? I was looking, I was reading it. Okay, it's right here. Raccoon, hey. <laughs> you, you take things like a raccoon. Stop it. <laughs> it's right here. I know, I'm trying to find the other okay. gate. In my rare pile, so okay. shoot. <laughs> this is the only gate? Oh, okay, so these are the only two gates in this whole set? Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. Chibi Maple, Hand Encore Maple, uh, Yui, Climax Swapper, Yui, the 3 2 Kasumi, uh, this 3 2 like Maple, Snow White Maple. Choose up to one character, you know, your hand player. What? When this card is placed on the stage from hand, choose up to one character with level equal to or lower than your level in your hand. Put it on any position of your stage and the character gets a plus two. So that's good. Assuming that it's like a superior call, right? So you don't, don't have to worry about stock. Mm -hmm. And then you pay two stock and when it attacks, you can uh, choose one of your characters. And the character gets the following ability until the end of turn. Activates one time per turn. When damage dealt by this card is cancelled, you may deal one damage to your opponent. Mm. That's pretty fun. I like that. What combos with this other trigger? Oh my gosh, what is it? This one. Deploy left arm. Because like this, oh. so when you trigger one of these, uh, you can draw a card and ditch a card. So like, because this adds climaxes back to your hand. Mm -hmm. So you can like, get rid of them for like different cards. Oh. So I'm trying to figure out Combos with it. It's not a double okay. rare. That's bad. Mm. Or it's not a rare. Maybe it's a double. So here's the one that gets plus four during your opponent's turn. Yeah. What the heck? Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? It's supposed oh, to be a fun unboxing and you're over here trying to build things. Oh, what? Hey, what? <laughs> this? No, I thought this was your Sally. Yeah, that combos with a level one. Okay, back to one. Alright, what's this card? Right, Maybe it's just a double rare we haven't pulled yet. Like the 2 2 <laughs> standby target. Feels bad. And then here's that reverse card again. Alright. Where's the standby target? <laughs> it's a double rare. We haven't pulled we it. We haven't pulled it. We haven't pulled Gosh. one. What the heck? And then double rare, we got Longsword Kasumi. Her design's pretty cute. Uh, for the most part, the designs and like, man, pretty good character design as far as just being like cute girls doing cute things. Oh, sticky. Oh, cool. Uh, the event bonus maple. First time we were getting this one. You can pay a stock, put a game character from your hand into your waiting room, um, put this card into your memory. When it becomes reversed in battle, uh, you can look at two cards, up to two cards on top of your deck. Choose one card, put it into your hand, and put the rest in your waiting room. That's not bad. It actually looks right. cute. <laughs> it reminds me of uh, the, the tomato. No, that's not tomato. Ra raspberry pen berry princess? Wild, Wild berry, berry Wild princess. Berry. But you don't get a search, but yeah. you can grab anything. Now. Right? Or is it only characters? I don't know. Oh, cute. So this is new as well. Maybe it's not. Chopping down maple. Put one card from your hand into your waiting room. 
Oh, and this card is placed in the waiting room from the stage. You pay the cost. Look it up to four cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to one level one or higher card from among them. Reveal it to your opponent and put it in your hand and the rest go in the waiting room. All right, last pack of the unboxing. I'm literally not going to be able to yeah. find what comp was. Sally. And we got Poison Maple. And we got Too Easy Kasumi. We got the 2 1 Maple for the minus 1k. Uh, we have third place in the event maple. We have tranquil waters maple. Oh my gosh. Uh, we have information warfare Sally. When this card is placed on the stage from hand, look at up to two cards on the top of your deck. Put them on the top of your deck in any order. This, when this card is placed on the stage from your hand, your opponent declares a zero, one, two, or three. Put the top card of your deck into your waiting room, and if the card's level is the number your opponent declared, drop to X cards where X is the number of your opponent declared plus one. Oh. Interesting. And then Never Ending Sunset Area is our climax. And with that, that is our unboxing. Um, pretty, pretty, pretty good, I have to say. Here's kind of our foils. And of course, the Brainstorm SP, never a bad pull. Things like a lot of foils for foil Well, we pulled two SRs in that first box. Yeah. So that's interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Alrighty. Thank you guys so much for coming on this adventure with us. Our defense is fully maxed out, I would say. <laughs> and uh, yeah, until next time, we'll try and get some deck profiles up and running sometime in the future. Ugh, I don't know. We barely have time to play test. And we don't want to give you guys a jank profile. <laughs> All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe if you'd like. So many double um, in this set. What the heck? There's so many. <laughs> there's like 12 SPs in this set, right? And a lot of them come from the double rares. And then these two, I get two, two different SPs. It's a mess. All right. Anyways, I digress. Thank you guys so much. Bye.